Hello there uh, YouTube and welcome back to the channel. I am Alpha India 5 Bravo Lima and this is Redneck Ham Radio. You know, uh, since my last video there the other day, we put that 20 meter ham stick on the, uh, on the fence post. And I got to thinking, and at this point my wife would go, uh oh, we're in trouble now. But I did get to thinking that you know, those, those radials that I cut, even though it's not enough of them, but I still have that trellis arbor back behind it that, uh, uh, that serves as ground as well. But uh, I said, you know, those things are roughly cut for quarter wavelength on 20 meters. You know, there is absolutely no reason why that thing wouldn't work on 40 meters as well. And it would be a, a, a eighth wavelength rather than a quarter wavelength. So I tell you what, let's find out. So I have right here, in my hand, I'll try to get it if I don't knock everything down here, and I don't think it will. Uh, I don't think it'll uh, it'll focus there. But if, if you could see on the end right there, it says uh, 40 meters. But uh, anyhow, now these aren't actual ham sticks, as uh, it's. I do believe that the ham stick company is out of business, but MFJ does make these, and these. I am a uh, no way. No way affiliated with MFJ. They do not sponsor my videos, but they do make these, uh, these, and I think they call them, they make these antennas, and I think they call them a, a, a mobile monoband antennas, or may call them a ham antennas, or a, a something, something such as that. But uh, anyhow, uh, let's, uh, let's go out here behind the shack and uh, take that 20 meter one off and put this one on and see what happens all right y'all here we are back at the uh the redneck monstrosity is what i call it here to show you just how simple it is to make an antenna change to this thing i mean there's no need in putting it in there real tight you know so i just most of the time i just put them in kind of snug and just unscrew the uh the 20 meter one now this one i don't know if you can see it See it or not, along the side there, but you see some writing. Now, this is an actual uh, ham stick. Uh, this is the only one of the actual ham sticks I have. The rest of them are all the MFJs. We'll lay that down. Let's get this. Oh, crap. Look at me. Yeah, redneck, right? So, anyhow, let's get this one put on here. Uh, make sure I didn't. Break that coax and pull those radials loose. All right, it's cold out here, so let's go back in the shack, hook the analyzer up, and see how this thing works. All right, y'all, I'm back here in the shack. So uh, those of you that are ham operators, and I know I have some uh, some viewers that are not, that just uh, ham radio enthusiasts, and maybe even some uh, some CB buddies of mine from uh, from days long gone. But but anyhow, the voice portion of the 40 meter band covers from 7.125 to 7.3 megahertz for uh, those with the extra and the advanced class license. Uh, general portion is from 7.175 to uh, also 7.3. Uh, megahertz there so like I was telling you in the previous video I like to try to find a spot right in the middle of the band to tune my antennas so for the uh, general portion that would be 7.23 megahertz and uh, being the uh, advanced and extra portion would be 7.121 megahertz well if you look at what we have on the analyzer right here we say it's it, we're reading the 1.3 SWR at 7.1 Seven, six, something like that. So, anyhow, we move a little further down. We see that the uh, SWR starts to go up a little bit, and we start to go up to uh, toward the top of the band. We find out that it doesn't quite make it to the top of the band. For the SWR gets a little higher than what I would like it to be. I mean, you can always put a tuner on it, and it would work fine. But uh, we'll see if we can make this work without a tuner. So, uh, let's go out and. Uh, and see uh, see if we can tune this antenna a little bit and uh, get it a little closer. Okay, hey y'all, here we are back at the antenna. So let's let's take this thing off of here. And uh, to, when you go to tuning an amplifier, or listen to me, an amplifier. When you go to tuning a uh, an antenna, uh, 
when it's uh, when its resonant point is a little uh, say it's a little higher in frequency than what than what you're what you're targeting then the antenna is a little short so you would need to make it a little longer uh, in our case here our resonant point is actually a little low a little below frequency so that lets me know that my antenna is a little long so uh, we need to make it a make it a little bit shorter so uh, these very simply Allen Allen set screws right there and this top section also just unscrews comes off if you want to see what you've got in there or, or whatever you know so anyhow let's screw this back on here and uh and most time your adjustments don't have to be very much just just a little bit at the time uh i would say probably uh i don't know a half an inch to an inch maybe well on the on, on the lower bands here so we said that we were a little low on frequency right so antenna is a little long so we just take it just I'm gonna push it down there just a little, shorten it up some. Let's get this uh, get this tighten tighten back up, and uh, I'll put this back on. We'll go back in the shack, see where it's at. All right, folks, there it is. I don't think I could get it much closer than that. So let's get this camera set up on a tripod there, and uh, we'll see if we can find any traffic on uh, 40 meters. All right, hey y'all, here we are, back in the shack. Uh, got some uh, 40 meter action going in the back here, uh, parks on the air. And uh, we're gonna see if we can uh, make this contact here in just a minute. It appears that these people are in, uh, checking the uh, parks on the air website. They are located in, excuse me, in Georgia. And the frequency they're on is 7.278 uh, uh, megahertz there. So. Uh, Let's see if we can get the opportunity. Alpha India 5, Bravo Lima. Yeah, QSL, QSL. Also have you as five by five, five by five in the Mississippi. Uh, Mike Sugar, there, QSL. Thank you. Looks like a five by five. Both ways. Please stand by for the second activator, okay? Uh, Roger that. Standing by. QSL, there, Kilo November. For Alpha Bravo Charlie, this is Alpha India 5 Bravo Lima, and I have you also as a 5x5 five five in the Mississippi there, QSL. QSL, and I have you a 5x5 five five in the same part here, QSL 171, 73. Uh, 73 to y'all too. Uh, I've got a little YouTube channel there, so I am making this contact on YouTube now, or, or should I say I'm filming it, so uh, it may end up on YouTube a little later on there, uh, QSL. All right, roger that, roger that. All right, y'all have a great day. Have fun activating. This is a Alpha India 5, Bravo Lima, 7-3. 7-3, Alpha India 5, Bravo Lima, break with you and thanks for having us down. Here's that part on the air with you for Tango Mike. All right, 40 meter ham stick on the fence post, 20 meter radials. It works. <laughs> All right, uh, it been glad to have y'all in the shack today and have uh, be here with me. Uh, it's been cold outside, so I've tried to do most of my filming inside. But uh, anyhow, until next time, uh, y'all have a blessed day. What's left with it? I'll see you later. It's Alpha India 5 Bravo Lima, and I am QRT.